So I just got a killer deal on a couple bins off a of BNR horse ranch. So they were wanting to get rid of it. I think they're downsizing and I have a need. The only issue is I gotta figure out how to move these things. Let's get to it. So one of the first things we need to do is first we need to prep the ground for putting in these bins. So don't think the skid loader or the excavator can really handle this. We need to make a completely level surface. I'm thinking about right here on the bottom behind these trees. As you can see, this ground is really uneven. So, bins ain't gonna stand up for very long if we get them at an angle. So it's very important we get them nice and flat. Then we need to put some concrete down and then we should be able to set them. So, called Buck. He says he may have an option for me. So we're gonna head down there see what we got so right here this is the two bins we purchase they're brook I believe they are 20,000 bushels but don't, don't quote me on that these are really tall bins they look like they're exterior support bins so should be movable without tearing them down, but I'm gonna have to figure out a way. Hopefully I can Get these bins to transport. I really don't know So I'm gonna try to find a way. I'm hoping I can find a rent a tall enough crane to move these but we will see Ooh, This is gonna be hard first of all we need to get our uh, ground all level prepping for these so let's get that first so we're pulling up here to the dealer I always like pulling down this little uh, path here just so I can look at all the shiny green paint so it looks like uh, squad is here too this truck at least is here maybe it broke down after the tug of war park in here and see what buck has for us all right so I think we got a deal. So now we have to transport this. So we got this Vovo road grader here. I think this will uh, work great for us. Uh, G940 Bravo. Don't know what that exactly means, but it's big. So Buck said his transport vehicle is tied up, so we're going to have to do this ourselves. Oh man, I, I don't know. That is going to be a big, big piece of equipment on our uh, trailer, but we'll try to get it done. So we're just pulling in here. Shut this guy off. So I think I'm going to use... I just think it would look good if we use our uh, DOT truck here. Why not? We're pulling basically a road grader. I mean, this thing has to be able to. It was bought for that purpose. So we get in here. Start this old girl up. Running pretty good. Now we got the air pressure up. We will uh, go hook up to our trailer. I don't know if we're going to be able to sell this trailer because all we do is keep using it. So I don't know if that would be a good idea or not. Alright, so let's get to Platte Valley. Man, we sure do burn a lot of diesel lately driving back and forth to Platte Valley equipment. See you there. So we are driving the road grader here. Need to hopefully fit it on this trailer. Ooh. Oh, got a little bit off there. There we go. Uh, 
guess I'm going to have to put it up on one of the supports. Right there looks good. We'll lower the blade and hopefully that helps. Chain this guy down. Ooh. Looks like it won't ride too bad. Thought these were on a swivel. They really should both be on the ground there. Or on the trailer. Oh well. Now we gotta find a way out of this place. It's not going to be the, ooh, the easiest. There we go. Watch out for that Ford truck. Oh, wow. I want to hit Squad's truck. I think you'll see that dent. There we go. Watch out for all the combine augers. Alright, so now I think we're basically free and clear. Gotta get this back to the farmyard and do some work. So this thing is riding surprisingly well for making this trip. Just got a little bit farther, just gotta make this turn into a road here. Everything's going pretty good. Get this down to the place and uh, hopefully we won't have to put many hours on it because it's pretty expensive per hour. All right, so I think we are going to park it right over here in the grass. Make sure it starts up. There we go. Alright, so we're just driving around. So we're also going to have to do a little bit of work to our road here. So I want this to basically be flat all the way up to the kind of crest. So I think what we will do is basically because I don't want this to be a low spot, I think possibly just keep it at about this level so that way the water still flows. We might put drainage tile underneath it just so the water flows through the center of the bins and doesn't pool and we don't get, we don't have to worry about getting our truck stuck and mucky and nasty and all that other good stuff. So. I think at first I'm going to uh, scrape off all the grass. So we're just scraping off the grass here. Seems to be working pretty good. Not too many issues. Uh, grass is coming out pretty good. Alright, so that's about as far as we will take it. So we will reverse here quickly. I uh, think I'm going to take it another width wider from the roadway. We might want to consider uh, rocking our uh, road here too. Laid down. Bring this along here. And all this dirt. So I think we got the gist of it. We'll keep scraping this until we got the pad scraped off. Not level, but at least scraped off. And we'll start leveling it. Back up here and the rest of it will be where the bins will be placed down. Alright, turn this a little bit. There we go. Scrape this off. 
A little bit more to do, and we should be done. Alright. So now we need to raise the blade. Now, we want to push this dirt basically that way farther up the hill here and hopefully level this all out Let's see how we can do this might have to do a little trial and error I don't have a lot of time in one of these I believe nowadays they're all computer GPS controlled so it's easier than the old days you don't have to put a string line or something figure out where your level is I think we will lower it right here straighten out our blade and try to push from here pushing down right here got a little bit of a pile going here working at this trying to smooth this out as good as possible oh got to raise our blade we we're back pushing there for a little bit get this as level and as good looking as possible so we got basically a lot of it done we're still leveling off a little bit I think I'm gonna either take the excavator over here or the uh, the bobcat I'm gonna start pushing some of this off the top here push it down I really want to basically get this lip I don't know maybe I'm gonna put a ditch it's kind of right here to get all the water out of here because I really don't want it and probably put a drainage down there so that way when the water runs off the hillside there, it just keeps running down the hill here. So, got a lot of work. Probably going to bring the excavator over here. It's basically, dig a ditch right here and then move all the dirt down below. So that way, all water will, won't run through our bin. So we got our ditch built. Now we just need to smooth off the rest of it and put in our uh, drainage pipe. Alright, so we got everything pretty much smoothed off. Now we are basically ready for cement. We gotta call the cement truck over and uh, start pulling, pouring cement. We definitely have a few multiple loads of cement that needs to sit. Alright, driving, directing this truck in over here. About right there looks good. We'll start pouring. Get this cemented in. Okay, so we're gonna have to trail this, but that was not a lot. We're gonna need a lot of trucks. Let's get some more trucks in here. Alright, so we got 20 truckloads of concrete here. So now we just have to let this stuff set. Got a lot of concrete. Alright, so now we gotta decide. So we still need to get the augers in here and uh, unload augers and the uh, loading augers. So I think possibly we're gonna put them on this side and hopefully we can still get the auger at an angle and 
have. Don't know. We might have made a mistake. We might have to extend this out here because augers for a bin that size has got to be pretty long and stout. So we'll have to see. I don't know. All right, so we got our Mack truck here pulling our trailer. I have no idea if this trailer is going to be able to hold this bin or not. Uh, this bin is going to be tall. I've already seen a few Highline pulls like this one right here. And here we are uh, we're going to have to ask the electric company over there to basically... Uh, See if they will uh, disconnect them. So we'll be able to. We'll probably have to put in a work permit for that. All right, so we'll leave that right there. That should. Now we're calling uh, Mayberry uh, Crane Service to help us lift this on here. So we're not going to be moving the pad so much as we're just going to be moving the tin. The pad will be basically, we'll do that at our house. So it shouldn't be that much. That looks like one heck of a pad. We're probably going to have to put some more concrete over where at our place. Let's see if we can get this done. Alright, here comes the crane coming up over here. Don't know exactly where he's going to want to set up at. Alright, so we're gonna set up right here, I believe. A little bit too close. There we go. Unfold this down. There we go. Hopefully this is some nice level ground. in the booms. up so we got the the bin set on the trailer so now we just need to pull this away a little bit there we go got all that probably move this down there we go other way Roll these down, there we go. Shut that off. Alright, so we got the bin set up on the trailer. Now we just need to get it back home. That is definitely going to be an adventure. So, we're going to have to get a few Highline pulls down. Once them are or high line lines taken down so we can make it all the way to the farm. That might cost us some money, but once we're done with that, it should be set. Let's get to it. Alright, so we just got the last bin finally unloaded. So I tried to make that as realistic as possible, moving these bins. I really wish some modder would script a trailer to basically somehow put a land pace placement on the trailer, even though it isn't land, so you could put a placeable on a trailer so you can move it. Something to think about. If I had modded capabilities to do that, I would. And I'm not lying to you, I, I thought I tried to make it as realistic as possible, but farming simulator physics don't make everything as easy. So you gotta just deal with what you got in farming sim, sim physics. Uh, we do have both these grain bins moved over now, so we got this nice and cheap. 
So we have two 20,000 bushel grain bins. And you're probably going to say that is way too much for the land you have. You are correct. But the price we got for these, we just couldn't give them up. So hopefully now we got to keep our ears open for a uh, cheap auger out there. So hopefully we can uh, use them to fill these big girls up. Because I have never filled a bin this size up. So that may be an issue. Hopefully there's an auger we can find out there. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.